What up, what up? Anthem Sports and Entertainment is on fire right now, but could they purchase Ring of Honor? Let's get it. Hey, what's good? It's BQ. Welcome back to the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. Loyal subscribers, if you're excited about what Anthem Sports and Entertainment is doing, give this video a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, this is the number one channel for the Impact Wrestling fan. So please consider subscribing. Slam the shit out of that bell while you're at it so you ensure that you get all the Impact Lounge updates. I went to bed and woke up to some interesting news last night, an interesting rumor. First of all, shouts out to William Alise on Facebook. And then if you go to Impact Wrestling on Reddit, I'm, I wish I had the guy's screen name, so uh, my apologies for that. But he has said he is an Impact Insider and... For what it's worth in the past, things he has said in that forum, it's, it's few and far between when he posts, but when he does do so, there seems to be a lot of truth behind what he says. He actually called Michael Elgin and uh, Homicide and Hernandez, he, he called all these things, but it's crazy because when he brought up the rumors, they were well in advance. I mean, they were months, uh, months down the road, and things have pretty much come to fruition for what he said, but there's an early rumor going on. I haven't seen anything on the dirt sheets as of yet. I have dug around maybe at the time I'm talking to you right now. Maybe it's updated a little bit. There are some rumors floating around that Anthem could have some interest in purchasing Ring of Honor from Sinclair. Now the early word from you know what I'm seeing there, what I'm reading, so remember this is two sources now that I've checked this from, is that there's some interest in you know from Sinclair. And um, it's not saying anything is imminent or that's going to happen or it's probably going to happen, but it's being talked about. And if you think about, I'm um, sorry, um, Anthem purchasing Axis, you know, that was something that was being floated around and talked about at first. There wasn't necessarily a lot of traction to that. It was something that ended up coming to fruition. It's being said on Reddit, and again, you can go check it out yourself, read what he had to say. Now, if, the, if it does happen and they do purchase Ring of Honor, you know, there's talks about either just dissolving Ring of Honor totally and, you know, taking individuals from their roster um, and meshing it over with Impact or maybe keeping the Ring of Honor brand, maybe have them on Pursuit or just maybe maybe have them on Access. So Access just becomes a hub for professional wrestling, which would make a lot of sense in this era where they're talking about WWE versus AEW or NXT versus AEW and now the smaller companies aren't really, really getting talked about. So... You know, Impact tried this in the past, especially when you know Jarrett first came back. Of, hey, let's let's partner up with these promotions, let's work together. You know, it's pretty much had mixed reactions on how that's all worked out. Ring of Honor and Impact working together hasn't even come close to happening. Impact and New Japan hasn't come close to happening. But but maybe the smart thing to do is for all these shows to to be on one channel because. Now, you will associate Access TV with professional wrestling, and that's the best thing you can do at this point when you're talking about having a B-level company compared to the two larger ones. Now, you gotta understand, anytime there's a merger in the business world or a larger company buys a smaller company, or you know, in this case, these levels of these companies are almost level, but say it's a lateral, a lateral movement, company buys a company, there's always gonna be cuts. There's always going to be changes, and we're seeing that now with Anthem right now. They're talking about people from Access being laid off, being moved elsewhere. People want to blame Anthem. They want to blame Impact or whatever the case is. But that's just the business world. Think about sports. When a new coach comes in, you know they're oftentimes going to remove some of the individuals on the coaching staff that they don't want so they can bring in their own guys. That is just the business world. You're going to get rid of people you might see expendable and bring in some new talent or the guys that are proven to you that you can have under your umbrella. So that being said, say a purchase of Ring of Honor does happen, I wouldn't get really excited and be like, oh my God, you know, Impact's getting Jay Lethal and they're getting the Briscoes. Most likely, if this were to happen, this is all speculation, all speculation, but if this were to happen, I would expect to see guys, the top, top guys, probably bought out. Um, there might be one or two they might try to negotiate with, but for the most part, I would expect them to be bought out and they'll probably seek opportunity elsewhere. Because if they do get bought out, you know, even if they keep the Ring of Honor program, it's almost going to be a step down from what it is right now. Now, Ring of Honor does have name recognition, so for me personally, I wouldn't dissolve the brand, but it might be pretty difficult to run multiple wrestling companies, so maybe that's the smartest thing to do. 
But again, I wouldn't expect Jay Lethal and the Briscoes to come over, things like that. You know, you might be able to get a Kenny King, a Flip Gordon, a Kelly Klein, who would be huge for the Knockouts division, in my opinion. Maybe even the Alert. Maybe we're get Angelina Love back. Who knows? Uh, Mandy Leone is someone who I think is on the, on the brink of superstardom, in a sense. So this is just one of those rumors that we just want to keep an eye on with the dirt sheets. Is there going to be any kind of movement in this? I know I'm going to keep my eye on it, see who I can talk to. Uh, I don't know what kind of information I'm going to get. But you got to look at it this way too. If they do make this purchase, if this does happen, if Sinclair is like, okay, you know, there's people on the impact roster that are going to be cut as well. You know what I mean? To, you can't, you're not just going to flat out merge the rosters. That's just not going to happen. It's no secret that Ring of Honor is struggling right now. Ring of Honor did have a time where they were pretty hot, but they've always built their product around the Bullet Club. They've built it around New Japan Pro Wrestling. I remember watching a Ring of Honor pay-per-view. I had about four or five months there that I had ordered full price their pay-per-views for quite some time. I remember watching one of them, and I, I want to say not a single Ring of Honor star actually won their match. They were Most of the matches were pair, paired up against guys from New Japan, and the guys from Japan pretty much won every single match. I'm not even sure that Ring of Honor won any of the matches on that card. And this proved long term to be a pretty poor business model, trying to latch onto the success of New Japan and make Ring of Honor basically New Japan in the United States. Now it did work for quite some time, but now all of a sudden AEW happens and AEW has taken talent from Ring of Honor way worse than what people want to say NXT has done to Impact. NXT has taken more talent from Ring of Honor than they have from Impact. I mean, Ring of Honor has really struggled with this, but for some reason in the wrestling community, it's been okay for Ring of Honor to be like a feeding ground for NXT and these other companies, but the minute someone leaves Impact, it's like, oh, this person left Impact. Like, all of a sudden, people give a shit about LAX, they give a shit about Alley. If you were such a big fan, you would have been big supporters of Impact Wrestling when they had those stars on the roster. That's neither here nor there. But now AEW has delivered a big, damn near knockout blow to Ring of Honor. They've been struggling, obviously, with the attendance. Now, when you watch it on TV, you watch the pay-per-views, um, you know, I still feel like there's a decent amount of fans there. They're more comparable to, you know, the Impact shows, but before Ring of Honor was doing a little bit better than that. So right, right now they're struggling. The company is, you know, not in a good place. They are trending downwards. So maybe the way to give it new life is, is, is a merger or a purchase. But as I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep my fingers crossed too much about, you know, getting some of their top, top talent. I think most likely those guys still will look to go to one of the bigger companies, but those mid-level guys, even some of those lower tiers, they could have a home in Impact. We'll see what happens, folks. Uh, this is a really interesting story to keep an eye on. If you haven't watched my video yet about Anthem purchasing Access TV, check the pinned comment of this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.